Rev up your engine! Today I'm going to talk about some of the crappiest car designs. Numero uno is the stretch fit belt. Some of these moronic companies like Kia, some Ford, some GMs. To make their cars cheaper, this is like a giant rubber band. You have to stretch this on over the pulleys to make it work. And why do they do this? Because it's cheaper and faster to make them that way. All they do is snap the belt on. They don't have to have an adjusting system or an automatic tensioner that costs money to make. It's a piece of crap belt that snaps on and it's a one-time use. If you ever take them off, you got to throw them away and put another one on. And I only have one thing to say is, thank God hardly anybody uses these now. They can only put these on things that have one more pulley than the whatever's driving it. It could have his case, it's the crank and the water pump. Sometimes they have three, the crank, the water pump, and the alternator. They can't do more than three pulleys because they won't work. So all the cars now, they have those seven, eight pulleys and the big serpentine belt. They can't use this crap. Thank goodness, because if they did, it would be such a pain to change the belts. But this one has one on the end. I'll show you how it goes on and off and why, basically, it's a cheap crap design by crappy manufacturers who just want to make their cars cheap and then come up with engineering excuses to tell you it's better. What a load of hogwash. Now this one's the water pump, so we got to jack the car up to get to it. just snaps on here up to the water pump. Top side, there you can see the water pump now. There it is. There's no bolts to make it loose or tight and an automatic tensioner, it just snaps on. So what you do is first you put it on the water pump because that's the part that's hard to access. And it's got the deep grooves. You gotta slide it on there. Not an easy task, especially with one hand. Then you get a socket that fits on the crank pulley and a long bar so you can turn it. Then with the bar on it, you get the belt and you start it. And holding this, you start to turn. And as you can see it eventually, snaps on. Now it's on nice and tight. But before you start it up, look down inside and check it out. Make sure it's on the top right. As we can see, there it is. It's on the top. It went on correctly. Then we start the car and pray it works. And as we can see, it's on nice and tight, and it's in the correct grooves. Sometimes it's hard to get these things to be in the right grooves. If they're up a little, then all you got to do is push in this and turn it, and it'll push it back in the grooves. But now, it's in the grooves perfectly. So now we can put the wheel on and be done with it. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.